I finished and uh, I went up. I opened the door in my apartment and it smelled like this. This this smell like I never gonna forget. The smell like strong black smoke. And I ran to the bedroom to get some clothes because I was folding my clothes in the, my bedroom because Lila and I we have been like sandals, shorts, and it was in nighttime, p 8 p.m. So I ran to get some clothes from the bed. And we entered to the door, to the bedroom, and the closet, her closet, was in fire and black smoke coming out of their ceiling from the uh, closet. She started screaming. I started screaming, and then uh, I just tried to grab some stuff for her, like clothes, and I push her out, out of the way to the bedroom to just put it in, her, in the um, kitchen because the kitchen is a big window, and I it was. I just realized it was too late because the the smoke from the building was coming around the in the window. Oh which she started coughing. I said, I was eight months pregnant at the time. I, I panicked. I didn't know what. I didn't. Know. I was just not move. And she was screaming and screaming, "Mommy, mommy!" And I realized, uh, I don't know. I didn't move. I didn't move. I was scared. I just start shaking and crying. And that time, my husband come from home. He was working. He never come early. Never. That day he came early. Oh he say he saw the flames in the roof from the half uh, across the street. And he ran. But already the people, all oh, the alarm went off late. People was coming around the, from the stairs. I'm on the third floor, coming out the stairs. And already the fire department already was there. And they don't let him come up. But he said, my wife and my daughter, she's pregnant. And he pushed the fire, up, the fire guys away and with his throne and his run. He was fighting the people coming down and he was coming up to get us. When I start crying and I grab my daughter and I just go to the window, I, I, honestly, I don't remember nothing about it. Like, I can't move. I was can move. I was just crying. He opened the door, he's like, what are you doing here? What are you still doing here? And um, and he grabbed us, he grabbed Lila, he carried Lila, and he grabbed my hands. We just coming from, uh, we almost can open the door to get out of the apartment, and we hear this big explosion, throw us on the floor. And I uh, yeah, Lila was crying more. And Lila saw her, because she had her turtle and a goldfish. And she was screaming because she wanna, he don't wanna leave the house. He knew, she realized that it was gonna burn the house. She was crying and we got out of there. All the album picture for Lila's baby when she was a baby. Yeah. That was the most thing that hurt me. The sentimental value. Yeah. I don't care about stuff. We, 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 we always work, try to work hard, but uh, we never have works like jobs that pay us good. But we always working. Yeah. We we don't like to be a lazy. Yeah, right. and that's yeah. why we have our kids here. Yeah. Because we wanna we wanna give the best. We wanna go like savings and go to college one day. Yes. And um, for me, it was that I was devastated. I was pregnant. The hormones, and you know, and Lila was like traumatized. She was, tra you know. We spent the night in one of my husband's family relatives. And the next day, when she woke up, because we had to go back to see what's happened, it was, I, I knew she had to come to school, for sure, because she needed to get be in a safe place where she know it was love here. I don't want to leave her with uh, her aunt because, you know, she needs to be here. I knew this because yeah. that's the way I feel when I'm here, home. Mm -hmm. The people care and love me. And we realized that she didn't have no shoes because we get out even me barefoot. Oh so in the place where we stay, it was not kids. There are not kids there. So she came to school with no shoes and her pajamas. And like nothing. We didn't have no brush, no nothing, no, nothing. My husband had like a little money cash. And um, and he went to buy some like uh, personal stuff to yeah. clean. Uh, and she was like, "Mommy, um, I don't have no shoes." But I'm like, it's okay. He always play with no shoes in school.
school, so it's all right. We yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Well, don't worry. We'll figure it out. And when I come here, I open the door. Right. Diana and Roxana was upstairs, and they see me. I just start melting. I melt. I didn't even tell them that I melt. And then Diana, she's like, don't worry. Don't worry. You know, later when you come pick a Lila, we're going to have some stuff for you. Don't worry. And, and I, I, I feel like, I, I, I feel like, okay, I can breathe because I know she say that. I know it will be some stuff for my, for my daughter. Not for me, for my daughter. And that's the kind of person we're here. That kind of, everybody, all the teachers, they going upstairs. All the teachers, they, they went upstairs to give me a hug and support Lila. And, you know, that was the word, meant the word to me. So, and they, right away, the therapist, we started with the therapist too. Lila was, she's, th she's still in therapist right now. Mm -hmm. See the therapist, she's better. But it was a time that she didn't help. She didn't smile. She had nightmares. Mm. She always... You know, all the the same day we come here. When I come to pick her up, she already have some stuff donations. Tons. I stay for like almost two weeks bringing all stuff. All yeah. stuff. And then the first is like I don't know where I put it because we don't have nowhere to live, <laughs> right? But thank God they give us a permanent, a, um, a temporary apartment. This was this was nice, clean, and everything. So yeah. I put all everything there. And Lila have her stuff. Kids, they, they don't know her, they write letters. The people, they give the donations. We go through the donations and give this, that was, there were letters for kids. Ten Lila, they skinny cookie, and oh they go fish, and they, cook, those, they already know the story of her animals, yes. of her pets. And... And was, if she was crying, she was like, mommy, mommy, mommy. And so it was good. It was a bad situation, but it's when you know the good people, people that they don't know you, you know, they're willing to help out. You know. they're, they're putting up. Um, all the teachers, they have like, um, you know, she started when she was one year. Mm -hmm. They they're putting together an album of, of picture when she because I don't, we don't have baby pictures of her. Yeah, she lost it. Yeah, so they're doing that, and they're gonna give her when she graduates. Mm. So she asked if she don't have no picture, baby picture. Right, yeah. right, right. So they're doing that. They already told me, but it's a surprise for her.